So, what is BIM? It's basically three letters that are designed to scare the uninitiated. Just like all these others that are appearing on screen, there is a lot of acronyms when it comes to building information modelling. And that's all it is. BIM is a, just another acronym. In fact, all these acronyms you can see came up a lovely document from the NBS, which is the National Building Specification website, saying the 20 acronyms you must know to understand BIM. Thankfully, we're just looking at one part of it today. So, what is building information modelling? Effectively, it's a digital model which allows people to work collaboratively before, during and after the construction of a project. Typically, this is being used within construction industries, so large civil projects, but it's going into a range of different industries as well. Or to look at this more graphically, you can see it's where the architect can share data with the industrial design, with the engineering design, the detailing, the fabrication, right the way up through to the control systems and everything else that's involved in the actual building. So, is SolidWorks a BIM tool? I suppose the truthful answer is no. Um, tools like Autodesk Revit, Tecla, Archicad, Bentley, Navisworks are true BIM tools. These are where you're collating all this data together. So it's a different kind of tool to SolidWorks. So what SolidWorks is used for is a tool for generating and working with BIM data. So what do we mean by that? Well, if you manufacture parts that go into construction projects, the obvious thing being doors, glazing, HVAC, constructional products, or you need to work around some existing BIM data, I mean, the example again I'm using here is this lift gantry, then that is when you need to work with BIM data. So we need to create something that is going to be used and sent back into that collaborative mode with all the other teams involved. So the architect, back with the construction, fabrication, and anyone else that needs to use that data.